people had requested a video be made on how I made my little leather wrangler. Uh, it's a headphone wrangler and I ended up doing it using the leather samples that I uh, received from the Jillio website. I actually had received or I had done this previously on another piece of leather and made it kind of like an arrow shape. Uh, worked great. However, I left it on my bed after taking the headphones with me to the gym and when I came back, the dog had uh, chewed it up. So I was very bummed and then Steve from the Filofax Save website reminded me that this would make a good, uh, come, make a good use for the um, Gilio samples. Uh, one good thing is that the Gilio samples usually have a hole already um, punctured into them they were probably some sort of like ring bound system where they were hooked on by a ring, which is convenient for me. So I thought I would show you what how I did it. So the supplies you'll need are either leather samples or leather that you get from uh, Hobby Lobby, your Michaels, Joann's, I guess. Uh, you'll need an awl. An awl is just a piercing kind of like screwdriver with a very sharp end to it. A binder clamp or binder clip. Uh, these are the studs that I purchased. They come with a top piece which is the rhinestone part and then a cap for the back. So we're going to uh, put that onto the hole and then some super glue to adhere these two pieces together so that they don't pop off and then you lose your stud uh, eventually. And that's it. So um, I already did one on the orange. This is the Apaka orange sample. And the first one I did was the Apaka, I think this is rust color. It's the 773 uh, number. And then I also, I still have gold 774 and then black, dark brown, navy and a pocket green. So I'm going to do it on the navy one for now. But what you're going to do is you're just going to fold the piece in half to line it up. You're going to use the binder clamp to just clamp the bottom to keep it in place because what we're going to do, we're going to use that hole to have, um, since it's already pre-made, this is what's going to slide on to the back of the stud. So we need the front of the stud to go um, be facing out like this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the awl and puncture a hole in the middle where, where the whole existing hole is to the other side. But I'm only gonna make a tiny little hole because I want the um, pressure of the hole to go the opposite direction. So once I've made a tiny little hole, I go back through here. Oops, be very careful because this is sharp. And now I'll push it all the way through. And I just go a couple of times just to make sure it's secure. It doesn't really matter how pretty this side looks because we're going to stick the stud on this side. So just stick the stud part in just like so and we can go ahead and take this clamp off. Now we need to put the back of this on. This is where the super glue comes in. So uh, I find that the easiest way to do it, there's two different ways. You can put it on the end of this and then um, put this on top. Um, but this time I'm going to put the glue on this end and then put the cap on. So take your super glue out, put a drop right on here and just be careful that you don't get it on to the leather. I just put a tiny little, come on, is it coming out? I think it is. There we go. So I just put a little drop on there and then I take the cap, which is very tiny. And now I'm just going to, come on, put the cap on and press. So 
I just press it down for a minute or so just to make sure that the super glue um, stays. It didn't get anywhere on the leather, it's just on the cap. And now I can take this piece and you just slide it over the um, backside, just like so. And now you have a pretty leather headphone wrangler. To take it off, you just simply peel it apart, and the same thing, you just come from the side a little bit and hook it in. Easy peasy. So I uh, hope that was useful. I'll go ahead and show you how to put your headphones in. You just wrap them up like so, bring the front to the back, and slide in. There you go. So now you have leather handy dandy wrangler headphone wrangler hope you liked it uh hope you make some yourself and feel free to share some um, videos that you make so that i can see uh, what creative ways you uh went about doing it thank you and have a great day bye